Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning in for part two of our Ohio hunt. If you haven't checked out part one yet, you should. It was a awesome start to our trip down here. I'll throw a link right up here. You guys can go see part one of the video, or I'll also throw a link down in the description below. So check that out if you haven't yet. Mel and I are out doing some late season rifle hunting, hoping for a big buck or doe to come by because we need some more meat in the freezer, but Hope you enjoy part two of our Ohio hunt. All right, guys. Well, it is November 2nd, the morning. Got settled in the tree stand about 20, 30 minutes ago. It's going to be getting light here in about 15 to 20 minutes now. It is a perfect, crisp, cold morning. It's like 22 degrees. Everything's frosted over, slipped in here nice and quiet. The bucks were on their feet cruising last night, so we got a lot of trail camera pictures, so I'm just hoping that they're kind of taking a nap, and then they're going to get up and grooving once daylight breaks. Sweet November, November 2nd, set up in the saddle. We're going to sit tight and see what happens, but we're ready to go, locked and loaded. Time to call some ruckus. It is about 10 o'clock, a little bit before 10, and uh, we've only seen one doe this morning. Doesn't sound like the boy has seen much of anything either. Jake saw the eight point that we saw last night, but besides that, not a whole lot of movement. My dad saw little bucks I'm chasing some does. I don't think Giuseppe saw anything. Saw an otter. It's cold. I think everybody was a little underdressed this morning. I know I've been up here shivering. Squirrels are out in full force. They've got me quite a few times, so I think we might give it another half hour or so and then we get down. I gotta clear some more lanes for tonight because I only have one shooting lane and I want more. So we got three hunts left after this. Hopefully somebody can get it done. I know uh, time's getting short. It's gonna be kinda warming up from here on out, so I, we'll see what happens. The bucks should still be doing their thing. Getting a little aggressive on the last day. Seeing these scrapes, these rubs up here in this cedar thicket. You can see this one's all rubbed up. A whole lot of tracks in that. There's a real active scrape. Some more scrapes and stuff over there. Another one right there. It's just right at the top of the cedar thicket where. It should be bedding up on that overside over there. Big cliff face going up here, drawing down to the bottom down there. Hoping that they work in for the evening feed, come up, shoot some on their way through. We'll see how it goes. What's going on, y'all? Giuseppe, Southeast Ohio, day four, November 2nd. stand. I was back in the pasture. I was back in there. Last evening, all the deer that I saw were right on this face, chasing just back and forth. They weren't on top of the ridge. 
guy slept. We got back at one o'clock, went to McDonald's, ate like pigs, and then slept till we left. So that's where everyone's at right now, but hopefully we'll get to see something cool tonight. I just pissed all over my boot and a couple dribbles on my hand. Perfect. Scent control, right? That's gonna do it for night number four, five. It's Thursday night. Um, finishing it up here. I had a pretty eventful sit. Seen some little bucks chasing does, spikes, and four points. And I think my dad shot a buck tonight. So we're gonna hopefully go check that out later. And hopefully it's a good shot and we find it nice and quick. But you guys stay tuned for that.
testify like a tumor or something. So property owner said, go ahead and take him. And I just couldn't resist. So looked like a good shot. And, uh, <clears throat> See how it goes. It sounds like he went down uh, far away. So, yeah. I just got word that Dylan's dad, Jack, shot a buck. He said the shot looks good, so looks like we got some tracking to do tonight. Super pumped. Let's go, Jack. I knew somebody was going to kill him. Yeah. Indeed, I'm just yeah, <laughs> Now what's the blood look like? Yeah. See the bubbles in it and everything. You aren't kidding about that eye, dude. Both of them. Yeah, it's probably good to shoot that deer. He's just. Ooh, chocolate horned eight, though. It's still an Ohio buck down, Ohio. man. Right on. Fat ass, dude. I'm happy, boys. <laughs> good, job. good job, Jack. Yes, thank you. We drew blood in Ohio. There it is. Not the biggest thing in the world, but definitely respectable. I'm oh. happy. He had you shaking, right? You bet. That's all that matters. We got old gray face. He was quaking all right. Bait pile. I'm 
I had a doe come in and then a f random fawn. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been a grind. Five days non-stop hunting does bad things to your body. So hopefully this afternoon I'm going to scout this creek uh, in front of me a ways and see if I can't find a good spot for my saddle tonight for our last hunt. Well, here we are. It is the final hunt of our Ohio trip. This is the last shot we have at killing killing a buck in Ohio. I'm, I'm hunting that field that's kind of between these river bottoms where I've been seeing, I've saw, I've seen two shooters in this area. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm really liking this, this spot I'm in for tonight. Well, it is officially 701, end of legal shooting here in Ohio. End of the last hunt, seeing a little four point spike. I had seven does work through about 15 minutes ago. They weren't getting followed by any bucks. Um, Jake saw a bunch of does today and not got followed by any bucks. So I don't know if um, they stopped chasing or what, but I was excited when I seen all of them. So I think we're gonna pack up out of here and Get a lot of stuff packed for tonight and head back up to Michigan early in the morning. It was a it was a great time down here. I seen deer every sit except one. Seen a whole lot of bucks, just nothing that we were after. Learned a lot about the area. Had a good time doing it. Had good people at camp, so I appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you following along and till next time we should be back in Michigan. I heard the rut's hot up there and hopefully we got a couple deer down back home.